Okay, so in this video, we are going to see an interesting example of subtracting mixed fractions. So we have to subtract 2 5 by 6 from 8 1 by 4. Now let us try to do the subtraction as we learned earlier. So first of all what we do is we write down the numbers as the sum of whole and a part. So the first fraction is going to be 8 plus 1 by 4 and the second fraction is going to be so we subtract this 2 plus 5 by 6 this is what we do now having done that what we are going to do is we will simplify this bracket so what happens is this minus both of these will change the signs and so what we have is 8 plus 1 by 4 minus 2 minus 5 by 6 so now we proceed ahead to separate the whole and the fraction parts so we on one side we have 8 minus 2 and on the other side we are having 1 by 4 minus 5 by 6 so now we have two subtractions to do here first is we have need to subtract this whole parts and then second is this subtraction now this one is straightforward 8 minus 2 that is going to give us 6 but in order for us to do this subtraction of these two fractions we see that these two denominators are different therefore we need to convert these denominators into LCM of these two numbers and we have discussed this method earlier so uh, we will straight away go uh, and I mean, apply that method over here so the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12 so what we have to do is both the denominators must be converted to 12 so what we will do is I will just change the color so 1 by 4 multiplied by so if I want to convert this into 12 I am going to multiply it by 3 in both denominator and numerator sides and minus 5 by 6 so this needs to be multiplied by 2 for both numerator and denominator having done that what we get is 6 plus we, we have here 3 by 12 minus 10 by 12 now I think you have got by now why this problem is interesting it is interesting because what has happened is we are subtracting a bigger fraction from a smaller one and that is what we have come up to in all the earlier cases we just assume that the fraction that we are subtracting is a smaller one but in this case this is bigger one so you have already learned in uh, integers that when we subtract so mm, a bigger number from a smaller number then the answer will be negative Okay, so when I subtract 3 or when we subtract 10 from 3, what we get is minus 7. And of course, when plus and minus we have, so the sign, equivalent sign is going to be minus. So we have 6 minus 7 by 12. But now we still need to simplify this because this is not a complete answer over here. This is not a fractional representation. So it's like we still have a whole and a fractional part now we again we have to convert this into its equal into the, the six needs to be converted into an equal uh, equivalent fraction such that its denominator is equal to this fraction so that in that in this case it is straightforward for us we just need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 12 and then we get minus 7 by 12 so when we go ahead and do the further math, 6 12 is 72 by 12 minus 7 by 12. 12. So essentially what we have is 72 minus 7 by 12 and this is nothing but 65 by 12. So this is what we get as a final answer. Now you can also try to 
convert this fraction you see this is an improper fraction because the numerator here is bigger this numerator 65 is bigger than the denominator which is 12 so you can proceed ahead and convert this into a fraction so it will some be somewhere like 12 5 is a 60 so 5 and then 60 plus 5 is so 5 5 by 12 is what is going to be your mixed fraction and this is going to be your answer so now what what we have learned here is it could be possible that the fraction parts that we want to dis subtract right the, the one which is being subtracted could be greater than this one so in that case we will have to follow this procedure that is we do an integer subtraction and then it might also lead us to do one more step in which we have to convert this answer into its proper form so uh, that is an interesting thing about this problem now there is one more way in which we could have solved this problem okay uh, so let us just draw the line so it is all clear now the other way in which we could have solved this problem is that instead of going by this way wherein we subtract the first the the whole parts that is 8 and 2 and then we proceed to subtract these two on a safer side we can just convert both of these mixed fractions into their improper fraction form and go for the subtraction so let us try that other method and see what is the answer that we get so uh, let's start with first we ne I need to convert 8 1 by 4 into its improper fraction form so which is 33 by 4 and for 2 5 by 6 2 5 by 6 when we convert it into its improper fraction from 6 times 2 is 12 12 plus 5 is 17 by 6 so this is what we get over here now I can represent 8 1 by 4 minus 2 5 by 6 as a subtraction of this 2 that is 33 by 4 minus 17 by 6 and now we can proceed just as usual so we have this 4 and 6 as denominators we need to convert those denominators into the same number so that we can straight away do the subtraction on the numerators and as we know from our the solution earlier that 4 and 6 have an LCM of 12 so let us just try to convert this into 12 so we have 33 times 3 and we have 4 times 3 minus we have 17 times 2 over 6 times 2 when we simplify this what we get is 99 by 12 minus 34 by 12 now when we subtract 34 from 99 and take this as the common denominator 12 so we know that 9 minus 4 is 5 and 9 minus 3 is 6 65 by 12 so this is the another method now you can see that both of these answers 65 are same 65 by 12 and again you can convert it into its improper uh, the mixed fraction form now the analysis of this problem shows that if you in these type of scenarios if you are following the method of subtracting the whole part separately and the fractional part separately you would end up doing these many calculations so in that case if you have any idea that this number the other fraction is greater than this one it is better to convert it into its improper fraction form and then proceed with the multi uh, the subtraction so that becomes much more easier and less complicated so see you soon in the next session